Right, it's our final award. Boo. Man, best live action film though, 13 and over, sponsored by Universal Pictures International, who create and distribute theatrical movies and is a division of the NBC Universal organization under the ownership of Comcast. To present this award, we have one of the writers and stars of the BAFTA award-winning Horrible Histories and Sky One's hit sitcom Yonderland. He's perhaps best known as aging news reporter Bob Hale, however, He's marginally younger in real life. Uh, let's hear it for Lawrence Rickard. Thank you. Um, last award of the night and you give it to me. Um, all I did was walk from over there, it seems. Oh, apparently not. Um, so then, the nominations for the best live action films in the old fogies category of 13 and over are Two, Lost, uh, Two Kids Lost, Close House and Ship in Hereford. <laughs> My Not So Ordinary Life, Mencap and X-Ray Eye Films in Belfast. <laughs> and O2, Sam Jones, Alfie Robinson, Tim Sutton Brand, Henry Barlow, Alex Patel in Altrincham. Let's see the nominations. Nowhere to go or destination, running. Alone and lost, running. No one to talk to, running. Young minds distraught, running. Broken and bleeding, running. Ears ringing and tired, running. Breathing and not coping, running. No one is listening, running. Scared and scarred, running. Sometimes I don't quite understand what people are saying to me. It can be a melodrama. Hello. Are you married? How are you? What's happening? Are you alright? Okay. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Hello. Are you married? How are you? What's happening? Are you alright? Okay. Uh, and the winner of my award that's now going somewhere else for some reason uh, for the 2017 Interfilm Award for Best Live Action Film in the 13 and Over category is My Not So Ordinary Life, Mencat and X-Ray Eye Films in Belfast. Oh my God, I can't believe this. This is a big, big surprise. Oh my God, I'm so nervous right now. Thanks to everyone who voted for us and decided that we deserve this award. And congratulations to all the nominees because they did a great job as well. Yeah. We're all just speechless at the moment that we've won this award. It's such an achievement. And I'd like to thank everyone, including Michael McBroom, who was the filmmaker of X-Ray Eye Films, and Will, who supported us the whole way through this incredible experience. We learned so much from Michael about film skills. We really are grateful for Michael supporting us throughout this movie. He was such a lovely person, and we all really liked him. The film is a chance to raise awareness of learning disabilities and how young people deal with day-to-day -to -day issues. All of us want everyone to understand the difficulties some of us deal with on a day-to-day -day basis and how society should learn about di learning disabilities. We have all really bonded as a group and got to know each other a lot better and it has just been amazing to work together and make this amazing movie. Thanks to Jackie Clark for supporting us through this project and always being there during the workshops. Also, a big thank you to Sean Kelly from Inti Film and Colette Slevin from Mancap. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.